Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How do I install the jurisdiction policy files so they are not overridden when upgrading the JDK? In this example, we show how to set a different directory to house the jurisdiction policy files. This will help avoid the files from being overridden when the JDK is upgraded. In accordance with the United States of America export restrictions, Java that is bundled with a server has limited encryption key sizes that can be used in the server operation. In order to successfully convert signed client certificates or signed server certificate signing requests for use in the server, you have to replace the bundled encryption policy files with the unrestricted files published by IBM. Open the Java security folder. For example, WebSphere root, app server, Java, 8.0, JRE, lib, security. The files that WebSphere is currently using are located here. Note, you can place the jurisdiction policy files here and restart WebSphere to use the files right away. The downside is when you upgrade Java, they will be replaced. In order to avoid this, follow the remaining steps in this video. The jurisdiction policy files are shipped with the product and can be found in the following location. WebSphere Home, App Server, Java, 8.0, Demo, JCE, Policy Files, Unrestricted. Copy both these files. Create a folder where you want to put the jurisdiction policy files. Place the jurisdiction policy files in the folder you created and copy the path. You will need this path in a later step. Open the Integrated Solutions Console. Log in with your credentials. Expand servers. Expand server types. Click WebSphere application servers. Click your server name. Click Java and process management. Click process definition. Click Java virtual machine. Add the following generic JVM argument, dash d com dot IBM dot security dot jurisdiction policy dir equals the path to your directory. Make sure to put the path to your folder between quotes. Click OK. Save the changes. Important, a restart of the application server is required for the jurisdiction policy files to be used. WebSphere will now use the customized folder for the jurisdiction policy files. When the product and JDK are updated, the files will not be touched. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.